Welcome to Mobile Congress 2014. We're here to show you the uh, new product category we call Edge Cloud. And the idea is to take the data center intelligence all the way to network edge to have the potential to improve user experience as well as, as generating new revenue for the operators. And this category started about two years ago from a concept, and this year we're looking at trials around the world as well as uh, commercial deployment. So we're here running the applications on Intel processors on a small cell aggregator from Spider Cloud. So let me introduce you to some of the partners that are running their applications on this platform. Alfred, would you want to walk us through what Seguro is offering on the Edge Cloud platform? Thank you, Caroline. It's really a pleasure being here and sharing the same vision as Intel regarding the uh, open cloud run uh, processing. Uh, we're running on top of uh, Intel uh, virtualization, on top of uh, Intel hardware. Uh, Saguna is providing an open platform residing within the, within the uh, ready access network, enabling the mobile network operator to run any kind of application, and by doing so, uh, enhancing the user experience since closer to the user is, is much faster, providing new monetization options, and of course, saving is a lot and, and improving the network economics. For more information, you can scroll, uh, uh, you can go to our website, to Saguna.net, which is S-A-G-U-N-A.net. Thank you very much. Now we check in with Stuart to talk about in your quest. Okay, thank you, Caroline. So we've heard about Saguna, and we now understand what the Spider Cloud platform is and how we're using the Intel Edge Cloud solutions to do this. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today is the Quest video quality assurance and analytics solutions. So Saguna's on the left, the caching server, Quest here, and the Intel security suite there. Um, Inioquest have been doing video quality assurance and analytics for a long time in the IPTV and the cable video business. The great thing that we're doing here is we're bringing those analytics over into the mobile sector as part of an NFB project with Intel and the other partners, uh, and that will provide additional monetization, quality assurance capabilities for mobile operators, and allow them to cater for the huge wave of video that's about to hit them over the next few years. So if I just show you on this screen, you can see here that as part of the demonstration system here, we're actually tracking adaptive streaming video chunks coming through the network. Each one of these blocks is a video chunk coming across the network. Uh, we can track those in real time, we can see what's going on, and then we can aggregate those up to a much higher level so we can start producing key performance indicators as to how well the video is being delivered. But there are a few aspects you need to think about. One is the quality of service, so uh, how well you're delivering the quality of video as a mobile operator, but also how well you're being provided with the video by people feeding video into the mobile infrastructure. So that's the operational side of the analytics. The other side that we can do is the behavioral analytics, which is demographic profiling of which devices are being used in which territories and which kind of assets people are looking at. And if you have that information and the quality information, then you truly have a foundation for being able to start to monetize these video services. Last but not least, let's chat with uh, Tyson from uh, Intel Security. Thanks, Carolyn. You know, when you're dealing with security in 4G networks, it's really about two primary use cases, operational efficiency or value-added services. And in the case of operational efficiency, the services at the edge of the network are just like any service on the open internet. They have to be protected. So Intel Security has virtualized capabilities to go at the network edge and protect value-added services like uh, content caching or analytics. In the area of value-added security, once again, there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, we see the ability to apply policy for things like child safety as a subscription-based service, uh, enterprise BYOD as a subscription-based service, or as we move into the machine-to-machine -machine world, protecting the unique usage profiles of machines and making sure that those fragile networks are protected is something, again, that can be done very effectively at the edge. Tyson, thank you for your time. And I would like to thank all our partners for joining us today. And you can also see the demo at Vodafone and NSN Booth. Thank you very much and see you next year.